Hi, my name is Phil Anderson, and I'm running for United States Senate to represent Wisconsin. I'm going to talk to you tonight about a topic that has a lot to do with liberty in the form of freedom of association and the freedom to form contracts, and that is the right to work legislation in Wisconsin. Now, the state government in Wisconsin, the legislature and the governor, enacted a law recently uh, that said that you couldn't have basically a closed union shop. An employer couldn't negotiate with a union and give that union power to require membership of its employees. Um, that's basically what right to work legislation is. Can you have a closed union shop or not? Now, uh, a local judge struck down that law just a few days ago, but on the wrong basis. That judge said that it infringed on property rights laws of unions because they'd be representing some people or, or collecting dues from some people and expected to represent all of them. That's actually the wrong basis, I think, on which to strike it down. But there is a right basis to strike down and to get rid of right to work legislation. Is that because it violates uh, people's uh, right to association and employers' right to form a contract? Now, I'm not a huge fan of unions per se. I think that they spend uh, a lot of money on influencing politicians, and in particular, public sector employee unions are a bad thing in my estimation for that very reason. There's a circular movement of uh, money and influence that's bad for taxpayers and, and, and uh, it basically creates a corrupt situation um, in and of itself. But private sector unions are just fine. People have the right to organize and to negotiate with their labor. And an employer should have the right to form a contract with a union uh, and to have a closed shop if they choose to. Let the free market work. If a person doesn't want to be a member of a union, they can work somewhere else and there'll be an employer who's happy to hire them because that's how the free market works. But if uh, an employer sees value in a union, and be, keep in mind that although unions have a pretty bad name in conservative circles and in some libertarian circles, they actually do, form, or do perform quite a few important functions. Quite often they're where benefits reside, uh, where benefits can be paid out, and they're also a place where uh, training and sometimes even discipline is done. So those are things that if an employer wisely chooses an arrangement with a union, that he can outsource those and not have to take on the laborious uh, um, uh, practices of trying to administer those sorts of things if the union will do it for them through contract. Those are perfectly legitimate reasons and ways in which employers can interact with unions and if they choose to form a closed union shop. There should be nothing wrong with that. That's the freedom of an employer to form a contract. And the fact that that legislation was enacted in Wisconsin in the first place and then supported by the Supreme Court of Wisconsin and will probably be supported again by the Supreme Court of Wisconsin. It may be conservative, but it's not liberty-minded. It's not right, it's not fair, and it shouldn't be constitutional. That's my opinion on right-to-work laws. And as your senator, whatever right-to-work legislation comes in front of the United States Senate, I will make sure that people's rights to form contracts, to freely associate, all those sorts of things, that are tied in with right to work legislation are upheld so that the marketplace can work, people can choose where they work, union or non-union, uh, employers can choose who they deal with, uh, individual employees versus unions, whatever. That's the way that we can, uh, the marketplace can be the most efficient, where people's rights can be respected the most, where the most benefit accrues to everybody, businesses and employees. That's my take on right to work legislation. If you want to follow along uh, the campaign, my website is for Phil Anderson, the number four, philanderson.org. On Facebook, you can find me at Anderson for U.S. Senate. On uh, Twitter, at, uh, at the number four, Phil Anderson, you can find me there. Please follow along. We're going to be touching on a bunch of different issues. This is the 155th daily video I have recorded. There's going to be at least 200 more as we record every single day on our way to the November 8th election. So please follow along if you choose to. Thanks, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.